Introducing the Slabmaster Precision Diamond Wire Saw by Show Off Lighting. You'll notice five precision diamond blades. These are 0.4 millimeter. The saw can take anything from 0.25 to about 0.75 millimeter on the blades with infinitely variable spacing. I want to show you the basic operations of this machine. The tools you'll need is just a standard hot melt glue gun, a pair of pliers with cutters, and a Phillips screwdriver. Gluing the rock to the vise is very simple. Put a puddle of glue on the vise and lightly smear some glue on the rock. And hold it for just a minute. Once the rock is on the adapter, slide it in, fit it flush to this edge, get it tight, and with your pliers, give it two extra turns from the nut. Basic operations is to adjust your water so that it's coming at an angle and then it will fall back into the catch tray. We filled the tray with about an inch and a half of water and on the end you have a water filter sitting down in the water. Your controls are your main on off switch, your speed control, and your water pump control which is also variable speed. Once your rock is firmly attached and the glue is set, after a couple of minutes of cooling off, set the bow down onto the rock and adjust your water so that it's hitting in about the middle of the rock and turn your water on. You want to run as low of water speed as you can get away with, and that's about right. Once the water is running and the blades are resting, we want to cut our initial cuts at a slow speed with no weight. You need to leave it running like this for about a minute to let the blades seep into the rock. You can hear the squeaking, and that is the blades cutting back and forth through the rock. That's your indication of blade life, is how loud it squeaks. In two minutes now, the rock has cut about two millimeters into the rock. At this point, we want to set our final weight, which for a rock this size is roughly in this position and leave it sit until the rock is finished. 